And we are going into our first topic today, and we're going to be talking about Taylor Swift. <laughs> Do you know, I'm, I'm actually wearing an Eras t-shirt right now. Oh, please show. show. Yeah, yeah, here, you guys could see it. Well, actually, I get this. You we'll post it right here. Okay, you can post it right there, but yeah, yeah I'm wearing an Eras t-shirt, and there's a very specific reason why I'm wearing this Eras t-shirt. To flex on the people who didn't get Taylor Swift tickets? Uh, yes. <laughs> actually, <laughs> oh my god, no, 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 no. Those people... Every, everyone deserves to go to see Taylor Swift. But um, I did want to talk about one of the reasons, as I mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. I got sick. I recently went to a Taylor Swift concert. I went to her Eras Tour concert. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be giving you some information about how that is going. Your experience? Yes, my experience and just in general, how much she stands to make from this. Mm. which is going to be interesting so okay so do you know i guess it's a lot <laughs> you, you, do you know a lot about taylor Swift? i'm just i'm just oh asking. yeah yeah i know okay. a decent amount so you so you know she's been on on tour right mm -hmm. so she has sold out every stadium that she is performing at by the way for she performs at a different uh city mm -hmm. three uh for three days three days damn so and she sold that out i recently went to chicago and uh, I went to their uh, Soldier Field Stadium. How big do you think that stadium is? How much people do you think could fit in that stadium? Probably north of 30. It was 67,000 people in that stadium. <laughs> How did they and so many? she sold it out for three days. Dang. So I wonder how many people like came back all three days and just bought that, every it's insane day. no so okay so let me give you my let me paint you this picture of mm. my experience at a taylor swift concert by the way i waited for uh so i got the pre-sale because i bought lover tickets before lover uh, tickets yeah her past previous concert that got canceled oh. because of the oh, because of everything going on 2020 2021 yes so uh i bought her previous ones i got verified fan pre-sale tickets for this new concert which allowed oh. me to get uh, to get an opportunity to buy these tickets. So yeah. I bought tickets in all. I bought tickets all the way up in the stadium. So they were like the nosebleeds. By the way, mm, I paid mm -hmm. hundred and fifty dollars for these tickets. The resale, so the resale value, one hundred fifty for each ticket. By the way, but okay. the resale value on each one of these tickets. Twelve hundred dollars plus. Really? And they were selling out within like as soon as someone posted it, it, uh, it up within the hour, it would sell out. Uh, it makes sense, yeah. So it was insane hmm. on the resale. And yeah. what do you think that does to? This is the business side of it. What do you think that does to the businesses around these concerts that she's holding? Um, it probably does really good for them, right? You would think. So imagine this. Imagine the Super Bowl. And imagine <laughs> for three days in a row. Imagine the Super Bowl <laughs> for three days in a row because that's exactly how what this is. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Really? The Super Bowl sells out the stadiums mm -hmm. and she is doing that for three days straight. And the I think the <laughs> occupancy on the hotel rooms there. 96% oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. of the hotels were occupied. I, for context, I went to the Chicago show. Mm -hmm. It was a lot of fun. Uh, yes, 96% of the hotels were sold out, which is insane. I think that could also be part of the phenomenon you talked about earlier, um, was that they would just sit outside the venue and listen in. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't even go in there. So like people could be renting hotel rooms and hanging out outside the venue they don't even have tickets so uh this happened <clears throat> this happened uh there is this phenomenon uh there there's two phenomenons here it's called uh taylornomics oh <laughs> because of the economic boom that she is uh she's, oh, she's having causing. which within the area because you legitimately are inserting like Sixty-seven thousand people plus to a certain area that all want to spend money that all want to spend money i think mm -hmm. on average uh, a Taylor Swift fan is spending between twelve hundred to two thousand dollars. <laughs> oh, for the ticket? No, for just just being there <laughs> just on being a there? room on a like everything like Real? oh yeah, yeah. <clears throat> because you Actually, have, they have to buy room food. They have to buy all of this stuff. That's you. So okay, so <laughs> so so let me let me just tell you. Let me yeah. just tell you that it is uh, crazy the amount of 
economic boom that she is bringing to these events. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is what you mentioned, which is tailor gating, Mm -hmm. which is people waiting outside or people who couldn't get tickets because yeah they would go outside and they would listen in on her sets Mm -hmm. so the thing is i think it was in i can't remember what stadium it was it wasn't metlife it was a different stadium i think but she had twenty thousand people outside the stadium Twenty thousand people outside on top of i think uh it it was was like 80 on top of like what is it? A I bridge. Seventy thousand people inside the sta- in the stadium, so it was mm. like ninety thousand people in general within a certain area, which it w- is insane. Um, a lot of cities had to say that they they don't allow ta- tailor gating, but mm. even in this Chicago one, there was yeah. a large amount of people outside. Oh, I believe it, um, which is insane. Um, there was another story about how I think it was Minneapolis. They refused to extend the uh, metro service after because after the uh, concert ends, there's going to be obviously a lot of people needing to go to leave, Mm -hmm. but they refused to extend service because of that. I'm like, I don't know if it was like a major athletic game, they might honestly or like maybe a holiday, they make the accommodations. But I'm like, you're losing out on a lot of money and making people Mm -hmm. they were really mad. All the Taylor it's, Swift fans are, are the Swifties are very upset that it, they did not extend service. I didn't know that. That's crazy. Yeah. But I also want to tell you this, by the way. By the way, uh, I don't want to spoil a lot of. Um, I don't want to oh, spoil the, the set list. No, no, no. I mean the set list oh. is out there. It's it's like the thing is like she plays like two secret songs. She plays like oh, four, secret she, songs? she she plays like forty four songs regularly or like in her concert. It's three hours long, by the way. She's up there three for, hours. She's up there for three hours. It's insane. Dang. It's I will argue singing the whole say, time. Yes, I will. No, uh, sometimes she has to like switch concert, but yeah, mainly singing the whole time. But it's a performance. I will say that it is one of the best concerts that I have ever been to. How many concerts you been to? I've been to more than a few. I mean, I've seen a lot of artists. I've seen more than a lot <laughs> more of artists. Than this many, but uh, yeah, more than that. Okay, more than five. Um, but I will say that mm. she is a great performer. Mm. She uh, all the show I would say is arguably worth, even at the highest. I, really, twelve hundred dollars. You would paid twelve hundred. No, you I did personally. Uh, me no. <laughs> me, me personally, no. That's a lot of money. But I would say that I could see why people would pay twelve hundred dollars for this. Mm. But if also, you're really a fan, yeah. I will tell you, this is not the only Taylor Swift concert that I have gone with the most amount of people. You've been to another one? Yeah, I've been to two. I oh, like, really? I, I went to I went to the Reputation. Jeez, uh, I didn't realize you're. But, your- <laughs> but I also true Swifty. I also went to one in Austin, Texas. Oh, you went to three then? I went to three. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. And I will say that there was a hundred and ten thousand people at the one at in the Austin. One Austin. Yeah, Shit. it was her only show of the year. Oh, it was that her only on. show of the year. It was a long time ago. Um, mm. And it was an F1. It, so it was F1 with a special guest, mm. Taylor Swift, playing a set. And this was right after she broke up with Calvin Harris. And she played um, This Is What You Came For, the song that mm. he did with Oof. Rihanna that she also wrote in. Damn. Yeah. So it is. <laughs> uh, it was crazy. But yeah, 110,000 people in that specific one um and i will say that it was insane it looked like a zombie it like a freaking <laughs> zombie invasion with the amount of people mm. but also also worst time getting out of there i believe it literally yeah worst time it was so hard to find like a, a ride share that oh, could get yeah, us no. out of there yeah it was you insane probably just walk no it was so far we were out in the middle of the freaking we were out in the middle of nowhere but uh, I would walk. yeah oh yeah it probably would have been faster but yes uh overall Great performance. It was really uh, she's she did a lot of really good songs. All mm. it's like all her different albums. Um, overall, ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Um, I believe it. And uh, I don't know. I think that maybe I don't know if she's gonna have a concert like this ever again. You think so? I mean, no, like all I think her albums. This is legitimately all her albums. That's why it's called eras. The different eras of her. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So. Like, I mean, she'd obviously still have No, she's concerts, still going to have concerts, yeah. yeah. But I don't know something like this. But No, I think definitely, like... But it would definitely be with more time between mm. to increase the album number. So I yeah. think, like, it's not... 
not like in the immediate future, but I think like maybe another five years, maybe. Yeah, at you, least. You know what I heard too? She's putting out her international dates um, for her concerts. Mm-hmm. Oh, so and people can South travel. America, South America's her concert sold out in less than an hour. All of them, <laughs> all of them. Yeah, so that's at least from all what of I heard. the people from North America who couldn't go. They're yeah, taking a vacation. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. I could see that. But that's uh, insane. But yeah, well, I mean, it makes sense. I mean. You can have a vacation and see Taylor Swift, mm. which is a great value proposition. Yeah, but that's uh, that's my experience. <clears throat> my experience seeing Taylor Swift, honestly, mm-hmm. very good. I can see why people pay so much money. What was your favorite uh, song or what uh, favorite set? Uh, I liked on it. <laughs> the thing is, I don't want to spoil, but I really what? liked the, the man. I like Blank Space. I like mm. a couple of the ones that she uh, she played. Um and yeah, oh, like, I think like it was, played in, an instrument for? No, 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 no. I just mean in general, like mm, the song she she okay. performed. Uh, yeah, I actually I actually went as uh, one of the characters that she did. I don't know if I told you this, but I went you as cosplay. I cosplayed <laughs> as as the man. The man as oh the my. man. Did anybody call you out? No, but there was so many people in uh in like dressed up as the man. No, no, no. Oh. There actually was actually as the tennis you should, player. You should uh, take sh- a picture. I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you this later, though. I'll show ah, you this later. You but oh no, 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 it's so embarrassing. Um, but no, how dare you? No. Um, oh God. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll post a we'll post a picture of. of Are you of, actually? No, no, for music video. Um lame. But yeah, that was that was, that was my experience. Uh, honestly, really great. Uh, Oh yeah, I didn't tell you. We made friendship bracelets. I exchanged fr- friendship bra- bracelet with. It's because of part of her song. Oh really? Yeah, 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 yeah. With who? So with random strangers. Where is it? Uh, did you I, break I'll, your friendship? No, 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 no. I gave I gave some of mine away just in general, but I did trade with other people. Yeah, mm. yeah. So there was people that made like Damn, hundreds of whole friendship thing. bracelets. I'll show you later. I'll show you later. But it's crazy. Put, um, put one up here. What do they look like? Yes, 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 or maybe yes. not. No, or the, it's, it's like the later. Swifties, the Swifties will know. Well, they will the know. Swifties will know. Everybody yeah. else. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But honestly, if she comes out with the documentary on like Netflix or something, mm-hmm. yeah, I would, I would highly re- recommend you watch it or something. Mm. Yeah, because yeah. she did that for a Reputation. Oh, I mean, so. like just a, um, a recording like, of her whole concert. Yeah, yeah. That's definitely going to be a while before she posts that. But I mean, even then, I think they'd still sell out, even if she posted the whole concert. Yeah. Because it's about the experience. <clears throat> yeah, like it's yeah, it's crazy because you, like from what I from what uh, I heard, it's like even though there's sixty seven thousand people there, or like you feel like you don't notice the people around you because it's you're just sucked into the concert. That's at least from what I heard. But, but what, what did you experience? Is that how it happened? It, you're standing for three hours. You stood for three hours? Yeah, you're essentially standing for three did hours. Did it feel like everyone, three hours? Everyone is standing for three hours. Oh, Not fair. only you. No, I get it. Everyone else, yeah. She, gets, she has a three-hour three standing ovation. I'm not even joking. It's crazy. Did, well, I mean... Could you hear her over like everybody else singing along with the song? Yes. yes oh, really? Could. Was yeah, that yeah. loud? But yeah. everyone was singing. Yeah, Everyone exactly. was singing all the time. It's kind of crazy. Because they, they all know every single song. They do. And she even mentions that. She's like, wow, you guys know all the lyrics to this song. Mm-hmm. And I was like, there's I mean, so fair. many people. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I yeah, Because like, that was my experience when I went to a, a concert. And mm-hmm. I was like, everybody knew all the songs. And they yeah. all sang it back. And I'm like. I'm the, I'm the only one that didn't know all the songs. She had, she plays really? 44 songs, Damn. and I only know like I know a handful, like I more mean, than a handful. But I watched or yeah, watched uh, Breaking Benjamin live, okay. and I, I was like, I didn't realize I was a big big Breaking Benjamin fan because <laughs> oh I was like, huh, <laughs> I love this song. And then it's like next song they play, I love this song. And then there's the next one, I'm like, I love this song. Oh, it's all the songs. It's all <laughs> I'm the like, songs. what the heck? I didn't realize I was a huge fan of them.